Hey, what's up my broke budget guys, gals, and ninjas. Today I am joined by my husband Lou and we're gonna be doing a reaction video to the dumbest things that people have financed, whether that's on a credit card or a loan. So we're gonna go through this list. You have not heard any of these, right? No, I have not. These are the dumbest things that people have financed on a credit card or a loan. Probably a cheeseburger. We spent over my bank balance, so it generated an overdraft, and that was transferred to my line of credit. So a $2 cheeseburger ended up being a $37 plus interest charge. Wow, I'm sorry, I just bust out laughing. <laughs> I know, I didn't even get all of it out there before you were like, what, oh. a cheeseburger? Outrageous price. Okay, I'm sorry, that is like the dumbest thing I've ever <laughs> it's hilarious. It was a credit card at Home Depot. So it was 0% interest and because it was 0% interest they bought like everything in sight. Okay, first of all, never use any credit card that has to do with the company itself. Like credit card, like Home Depot credit cards or any kind of credit card such as Targets, Walmarts. I understand it has to do with what? Reward points or discounts or uh, zero interest rates of this X amount of months before you pay it off. And not only that, but then um, sometimes it's only 0% for a certain amount of months, and then after that amount of months they charge an outrageous Just interest rate. So you're looking at a 23% or more interest rate on whatever you buy, and if you're buying things at 0% interest because you think, oh this is a great buy because hey, I don't have to pay any interest for a while you can rack that bill up pretty quick. Some of them even have a clause in them where they basically make it so that you have to pay for all those months that you weren't paying for interest too. Let's say six months worth of 0% interest. Mm -hmm. As soon as you go past six months, they go, okay, now we're gonna start charging you interest for the future and we're also gonna charge you that entire six months worth of interest that you should have been building in the first place. Right. This person said that they overbought on furniture and it took them forever to pay off and now they are obsessed paranoid that it'll get ruined and also it turned out that it was even too big for both of the houses they've lived in Wow that is so crazy I'm sorry why would you want to buy a couch with a credit card and then not realizing when you should buy a couch and then what it doesn't fit in the house in the room <laughs> seriously I feel like it's already dumb to finance a, a piece of furniture when I there's right. so many people out there giving away furniture just because they want to style their home a certain way and get a certain color couch and just because they want something new. They're actually giving away their good furniture. It may be used, but it's not like torn down even. Right. Um, I mean, this couch we're sitting on, we got for free from my coworker who just wanted it out of her living room so she could get a brand new one that she put on a credit card with them for 0% interest for 12 months or something. Right, right. That's a full year commitment instead of just having the money and using it to buy the furniture or even just get something for free that's still in great condition. Right. This one's kind of smart alecky. So okay. prepare yourself. <laughs> Says, my second wife. I got rid of her. Now I'm debt free. Wait, he got rid of his <laughs> wife? <laughs> that one was mean. <laughs> but I can understand if they were your ex, like why you would make a comment like oh. that. I shouldn't get a refund. Can I get a refund? my ex wife. Well, you know what my dad said when he gave you, me the way to you on, on our wedding day, remember? Oh, yes. He said no take backs, which means no refund. <laughs> Person says they financed a vacuum cleaner. Like to vacuum a carpet? Yeah, there was actually multiple people who said that they financed a vacuum cleaner, and one of them actually said that they financed a vacuum cleaner and they don't even have any carpet in their place. Okay, that is stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> That is dumb. That is so stupid. <laughs> oh wow, I never knew that thing actually exists. Oh, it happens all the time. <laughs> it happens all the time with vacuum cleaners. It's ridiculous how often it happens because you'd think that that's something that wouldn't even exist. So this person I think is worth mentioning, but they, they really weren't uh, saying something that they bought on the credit card necessarily. Okay. This person said that their emergency fund 
was their credit card. So they were using their credit card as if it was an emergency fund, not actual money set aside. Then whenever an emergency popped up, they went and they just swiped their credit card and, and they said it was amazing how many things they thought were an emergency when they had a credit card because it seemed like an endless flow of funds. Because now you just racked up your own debt and interest rates just build up. You don't even know if you can afford that. So you should have just start starting off with by saving of at least what a thousand, two thousand as use that as your emergency in cash towards your bank and leave it to the side for emergency and a credit card you should never use your credit card because it does bills up interest rates you know that just mm -hmm. sucks of using a credit card as an emergency yeah wow. yeah I know and the and the cool thing about bank accounts is it's interest that works in your favor even if it's very low interest it's interest that works in your favor you gain a couple pennies here or a few dollars there right uh, but interest on a credit card works against you and you get charged more for an item that you could have spent less on. So this person said that they financed home audio speakers. So a whole speaker system for watching movies. Oh my gosh. Wow. Like, really? You never know. If you can't even afford it monthly, if by the time you know it, they might come back and get your stuff. <laughs> it is so easy to just spend a few more months saving up for something like that versus financing it because again you're paying interest on it even if you do manage to pay it off you're still paying interest on it and it's just too big of a risk not worth it this person said that they financed an education program for being a personal trainer but they never took the course but they still had to pay for the personal loan and that was money they could have used to go on vacation with so they spent an entire vacation fund to fund an education that they never actually took an online, probably I'm guessing online course for. They never actually went through the course. Okay, man. Why waste your money on an online course you know, that you thought that you were going to go through but you never did? Well, you should have think through before if you're really committed to it. If you're thinking this is going to be better for my life, I'm going to advance my skills, I'm going to advance how much money I make, stuff like that. But it's really hard to then commit to actually taking the course and watching the videos. And there's some stuff out there that scams too. So even if you get the video course and you look through it, sometimes the video course is useless. Exactly. And you never know. You may end up getting all this for free online. All you gotta do is do some research. I mean, YouTube right here. Great example of how you can learn how to do stuff for free from people who like talking about it, who are already in the industries or whatever that you want to be in great great resource so make sure that you hit subscribe on my videos so that you can hear more about stuff that we talk about here on broke budget so this next one is a bicycle for my husband that he never rode and he didn't ask for it i just bought it for him because i thought we were rich because we had a credit card She thought that she was rich because she had a credit card. She was almost seeing the credit card as money that they owned instead of money that they're borrowing. Never think of credit card as, ooh, it's money, it's free money. Like, really? They ain't no free money in this world. You gotta work hard into earning that money. Definitely with big purchases, you should always talk to your spouse about it if you yes. have a spouse or a significant other because I don't know, it always annoyed me when you would buy something big and it annoyed you when I bought something big without consulting you, right? Mmm, it does. Cause like, well, where did you pull that money from? Our credit card? Our what? Bank account? What? That's just a side note, mm -hmm. but definitely worth mentioning. Right. This one's really funny and I'm not sure how you're gonna react. So this person financed underwear from Victoria's Secret on a Victoria's Secret credit card. Oh my gosh. Why? Oh my gosh. You know, you could just buy your own clothes with cash instead of using credit cards. Like I said, stop using credit cards that are through the company as Victoria's Secrets or any other companies because you owe them money. Because, you know, if you could afford 
buy it. If you can't, then don't get it. If you have enough clothes at home, use your, the clothes that you have. And then just save up all that money and just buy you new clothes with your own money. Why are you using your credit card? Credit card doesn't solve anything. It no. just creates more debt. 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 When I was younger and I could barely pay the bills, I financed a desktop computer. I found it online and it was delivered in a taxi cab. What makes the situation even worse is that I had already had a perfectly good computer. I just wanted a second one. There's just too much to even say about this one. <laughs> Literally had a good computer, went out and got a second computer financed, and he got it delivered in a taxi cab, which I don't understand why that was needed information, but it's pretty funny. What are you gonna do with the second one? Yeah, yeah, I almost feel like um, in America we have so much privilege and stuff that everybody just wants more and more and more and they feel like that's going to satisfy them so they just buy more and more and more and even if it's the item they don't already have that's working, they'll just keep buying it. Yeah, it doesn't make sense <laughs> why would you buy the exact same thing when you already have one and what are you going to do with this one? That's what's going to sit in the dust. This person said that their dumbest financial mistake as far as financing something was their college degree. So far they haven't used it or needed it for their career. If anything, going to college just made them more mature. <laughs> so they spent all this money for a degree that they're not even using and they financed it so we're paying all this interest on top of it and having to pay it over the course of many years and basically just so that they could mature in college. I understand. I do. I really understand this. And I mean, there's so much pressure on us all to, you know, you got to go to college, you have to get this education, you know, and and they sell it to us like as if this is how you make your career, this is how you get more money, this is how you don't work at McDonald's, right, all your life. Um, and so they sell it to us like that, but it's not always like that. And some of these college degrees now are like practically worthless, mm, you know, they're actually are. they are like in just fun things that, you know, either way too competitive or don't even actually have a job. Like once you get through the whole program, there's not actually a job waiting for you in that area. Something that I did that was super dumb was I financed my college education, but for me it was mostly about financing it at the wrong institution because I financed it at a private Christian school which costed me way more money. I spent like 90k at the school financed. I mean, I've used the degree a little bit here and there, but it definitely was not worth 90k. It was worth more like 10k, I would say. I, I would have been willing to pay 10k on that if I had gone to like a more of a community college or a smaller university. I think I would have been a lot better off. Yeah, well, for me, I actually went to a four-year college twice. I was changing majors, so I didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be in HR for the um, disabilities, and then I changed it to uh, biology. Then all of a sudden, I changed it to undecided. <laughs> I just didn't know what I wanted to do for my major. I wasted pretty much almost three and a half years of nothing, and I could have used that three years of of what going to, going to work if you really don't know what you're doing with your degree and it's not like a degree that would get you somewhere like don't do an art degree like do something that makes sense like you know a medical degree doctor nurse stuff like that or something that makes sense for the industry plumbing things like that uh, electrical things that you need some sort of degree or even certification certifications are cheaper if you can get those instead this person said that they financed their car they were in absolutely no position to purchase a car, but they felt at the time that their hands were tied. And then they ended up financing it at 24% interest rate. 24% interest rate? What? That is the highest interest rate I've ever heard. What? Yeah. On a car loan? On a car that they didn't really need at the time. They just felt like... Oh, my goodness. That, that just racked up the debt. 
right there. That means that that 24% interest rate is gonna build up pretty fast. Unless you're willing to pay it more than minimum payment to knock it down. We financed both of our cars. I Big know mistake. Did. Big well, mistake. We could have, we had saved up a few thousand dollars both times, and so when we use those as a down payment, we could have used that money to go buy a cheaper car that was a few thousand dollars from somebody else yes. at the time. But we were really sick of old cars because both of our cars were super old and they were both breaking down like every few days. Every few days, every month, and we were spending our money on our mechanics. And they were like a couple hundreds of dollars. And we were or like, thousands. Like My car was thousands. Well, hers was thousands and mine was like a few hundreds. And I'm like, we could have just used this to get our, a car. And then we actually took a loan on, on a car on her vehicle. And now she owns because she paid off like last month. And that now I have my own car loan, I'm still working on paying it off. Yeah, but at least we did a smarter thing and we bought used vehicles yes, on the we lot. Did. So mine's a uh, 2009 and his is a 2014 and it's 2020. So um, we, um, and the only reason why his is newer was because he was also Ubering at the time and he yeah. had agreed to Uber to pay the car um, loan each month. Yeah, and but so, it didn't work out. Okay. It didn't work out. So this is another good reason from learning experience why you don't want to say, I can afford this as long as I Uber. Well, he quit. Never rely on the fact that you'll be able to afford something based on money you think you'll make in the future because right. that's basically what we did was and it was a mistake. Stink. And it put us down under, and we ended up having to find money elsewhere by working other places because and I was that money kind three of three jobs. I was working three jobs at that time, which is really exhausting because I'm working seven days a week. Yeah, exactly. And this is the kind of thing you want to avoid. You don't want to have to work your tail off, pretty much, to afford something that is out of your price range. And mind you, this is a used vehicle that we got at a really good price for the quality of vehicle that it was at the time. So they paid for anxiety therapy on CDs for six hundred dollars. Anxiety CD for six hundred. Anxiety therapy CDs. So basically, to get rid of their anxiety, they spent six hundred dollars to try and like listen to these CDs that were supposed to help them with their anxiety. Okay, what? Yeah. Six hundred dollars for a CD? What? For, for a CD set, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ow. Yeah, ouch. I don't think I could ever front that money. And like, somebody... I don't think that's my worth spending on a CD. <laughs> yeah, somebody asked them though. <laughs> somebody asked them though, like, did it work? And they were like, no. It so did they not just, work. So they may have got scammed by a person who just downloaded it on YouTube, just put it on the CD and go, here you go, it's $600. And it didn't even help her. That poor girl. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know. You know, you know what causes anxiety? Bad financial decisions. And this right here was a bad financial decision. It's no wonder it didn't help. <laughs> Caused her anxiety. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to laugh, but I mean, I'm sorry. That's just the dumbest thing ever. A six hundred dollars for a CD. <laughs> wow. So this person said that they financed a twenty dollar crock pot. A twenty dollar, twenty dollars. So this just tells you how broke this person must have been at the time, and they financed the crock pot. Now I can tell you there are a lot of ways to cook food. You don't need a crock pot if you can't afford twenty dollars. I mean, if you can't afford twenty dollars, like, can you even afford your groceries at that point? Now, if you're just buying it, that's one thing, but it, financing it, too much. Too much. Why don't we just use cash just to buy it? Like it's twenty dollars. Hello, twenty dollars. Well, if they don't, cheap. yeah, it's it's really cheap. And if they don't have twenty dollars, that just is a sign. Don't don't buy spend it. money. Don't buy it. <laughs> when you, you think that everything's okay to finance things, then that means you finance everything. Finance the phone. Finance the couch. Finance this. Finance that. And before you know it, you finance so many things that even though the monthly cost seems so small at first, okay, seventy dollars, okay, a hundred dollars, okay, two hundred dollars. Once you add all that up, and then it all starts adding up in one month, your entire paycheck really is just going towards things that you financed. Right. Why would you pay two hundred dollars for something that was actually a hundred dollars in the store? 
Why wouldn't you just spend a few days saving up the hundred dollars instead of paying two hundred dollars to finance it and get it right that minute earlier in the week? Right. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I really like this one because I thought it was so funny. So this person said, the dumbest thing that they ever financed was their dog. And to add insult to injury, he's dumber than a box of rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why would you finance an animal, a pet? <laughs> okay, look, I understand I love pets and I, and I love our cat and everything like that, but I wouldn't have financed to get him. Yeah, you know, I like I, we paid cash when, when we had the money to get him and all the supplies right there and then. Okay. We didn't finance any of that. I think it's just funny the way that they worded it because they're just like, I'm just like they insulted their own dog. <laughs> well, that is it. That's all the different dumb finance things that um, we covered. And obviously we talked about our dumb finances things with our student loans and our cars. I mean, really, I don't feel like we financed anything that dumb. No, we didn't. Nothing Gosh. along the lines of financing a vacuum or a hamburger or, or a dog or, or a couch or a couch. Or we didn't finance anything like that. So I feel like most of our debt wasn't necessarily dumb. The way we went around it, like the way we got it and the, the timing of when we got it was dumb. But everything else about it, I don't feel like was dumb or funny or anything like that. It was just a bad financial choice. Well, I think that it made us, taught us the lesson for the fact that, you know, we make, I mean, I, we all make stupid decisions and I understand because we do too. And then once you want to be financially stable again and you're trying to pay it up as much as fast as you can, once you pay that off and then in the future down the line, you look back at it and you go, why did I do that? And hopefully you will pass that down the line to your kids or to somebody. These are the kind of decisions that we like to pass on in the broke budget because these are decisions that we we made incorrectly, that other people made incorrectly, and it's just it's good to know these things and know these things are out there and then stop yourself from making bad decisions. So if you made a bad decision, you made a dumb decision like with finances with uh, either through a loan or through a credit card or something like that, that was money you didn't actually have in your bank, let us know down in the comments and hit subscribe and hit like on this video for more content just like this. Yeah. And then we'll see you in the next video.